Sonoma County is experiencing freezing temperatures, and that's often when the need for shelter for the unhoused becomes really dire. A shelter in Petaluma called COTS is providing tiny homes to try to get people into permanent housing. Ground Force Sarah Stinson tells us some of the work that's being done. On a rainy and freezing night, Cott's Mary Isaac Center tries to make extra room for people in need of a warm shelter. It's when it rains that it's problematic. So we do have the ability to uh, close half of our dining room off and serve um, anywhere from three to a dozen people. You know, it's helpful but it's, it's not enough. COTS is always running at max capacity, providing shelter to more than 150 unhoused people at any given time. There are 25 tiny homes on the property called the People's Village. The shelter also provides 70,000 hot meals a year. COTS has an annual budget of $8 million. The money comes from the city, Sonoma County, foundations, and donors. The people who stay here have often been unhoused for many years. Been outside in tents um, 8 to 20 years living outside. Stacy Questoni manages the People's Village. She says the key to getting people off the streets is providing resources. We do case management. We have social supports. We have a social supports person. We have an art teacher. A legal aid is here. JobLink is here. All things that will help um, these folks be successful. The tiny homes opened last March. Questoni says they have learned it takes time to get people back on their feet. They need more than six months. They need a long amount of time to just sometimes learn how to shower, learn how to clean their rooms. COTS is a low barrier shelter, meaning people don't have to be sober to live there. But there are addiction services like AA and NA. The people getting sober and decreasing their um, intake are the ones getting housed. COTS also has a recuperative care unit. We have six beds available to people that are unsheltered um, when they're coming out of the hospital. They're being discharged home, but they don't have a home to go to. The unit is often full, so the program is expanding to 20 beds this year. It's been a blessing and... Uh... I've been right back on the street. Helping people like Buck Smith, who was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. It's overwhelming. Appointments organized. My, you know, my medicines, they pick them up for me, get me rides to and from the doctors, um, and they're very, very supportive. It's the feeling of being supported and cared for that makes a difference between someone wanting to get off the streets permanently, which will be Smith soon. I'm grateful to be here. I'm blessed to be here. And uh, I was born and raised in this town, and, and I'm proud of this place. We are here to recognize them as human beings, give them dignity, and lead them to housing. I'm Sarah Stinson, reporting in Petaluma, Cron 4 News.